Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. This is my segment on Ask Lamar. Uh, and I've got a couple of questions. Uh, one is from a lady who is uh, uh, living up in Idaho. Her name is Mary, and uh, she is just starting out in homesteading. And uh, she's trying to get the, the supplies together. She's got a piece of land. Uh, sounds like a pretty good piece of property. She's got some springs and, and, uh, and water supply on the property. And uh, she's, she's getting ready to move there. And she's trying to get ideas for how to get started on her property inexpensively, uh, which is what I recommend for most people. And uh, so we were talking about some ways that she could get started for shelter. Uh, while she's working, she's, she has a son that I think is graduating from high school soon uh, that's going to be helping her, and she's going to build a, uh, a simple structure to live in, but she needs something to live in while she's there. She's thinking about a tent, and so we were talking about some ideas of, of uh, what people can live in on their property while they're building their cabin or their house or whatever it is that they're going to be living in permanently. So one of the things that I want to talk about first is uh, using a camp trailer which is what I recommend uh, to get started in your, uh, on your homestead. And there's a couple of good reasons. One thing is the, the camp trailer is a good, sturdy, uh, waterproof, generally, uh, place to live. Uh, it can be heated better than a tent. Uh, it, can, it provides a little bit more shelter. Generally, they're set up with a sink. Uh, they might even have a bathroom in them. Uh, they have uh, lights and things like that that can be run off of solar. Uh, a lot of times they already have a, uh, a tanks for gray water and wastewater set up. And so what's nice about a camp trailer is after you're done living in the camp trailer and you've got your cabin built, then you can transfer all of those equipment into your cabin. And that's what I'm going to show you here. This is my kitchen. Okay, and in my kitchen, you can see there's my sink. Now, this sink came straight out of my old camp trailer. When I got done with my cabin, then I built these cabinets, and I installed the sink. Now, you can see this sink is smaller than a regular house sink. Uh, it has shallower uh, pans in it, basins, uh, but it has all the features that you need for washing dishes. The appliances that come out of campers are designed for smaller places, so they work perfectly in a small cabin. So there's my sink right there, and then this is my oven and stove, okay? And I'm going to back up here so you can see it. Uh, and this also came right out of my camp trailer, and it has four burners. This is propane. It has four burners, and it has a nice oven underneath it here. It's got a good size oven and runs off of propane. It is about half the size. As you can see, it doesn't go all the way to the floor. It's designed to be built in, and I had to build these uh, cabinets. I just used two by fours and some lumber, uh, and I've just got material down here. I haven't finished up the fronts of my cabinets, but I've just got material down here. But anyway, I used the stove uh, and oven and the sink, and I got a bunch of lights and everything else, and I even got my water tank, and I hope, hope you can see this down here. We've got enough light. Probably not. I'm going to have to get some light on there. Let me get some light. Okay, now you can see it. All right, there you can see that's a water tank. That water tank is a 25-gallon water tank that came out of my camper. Okay, and it's underneath my sink, and I use a SureFlow. You can see some of the plumbing back there. You can't see the pump because it's back behind it, but I use a SureFlow uh, water pump to pump that up through my lines over to my shower and up to my sink. Uh, the SureFlow pumps run off of DC, and that also comes out of my camper. So I got my water tank, my sink, my stove, my SureFlow pump, and even the plumbing. That plumbing there came right out of my old camper. So that saved me a lot on buying uh, appliances and stuff like that. I didn't have to go buy anything. I just pulled them out of my old camper. And I'm going to show you my camper here in a minute. And then I got a on-demand water heater, which I hope you can see there. Okay, that's an on-demand water heater made by Ecotemp, and it also runs off of propane, and that uh, supplies the hot water for my sink and my shower. And then I built me a shower stall, which you're probably going to have a hard time seeing. I'll see if I can get some more light in here. Okay, shower stall, uh, shower nozzle up there with a shower base, and ignore the pan down there. I was doing some dishes and was rinsing out a pan in my shower. Ha ha. 
Okay, so I built my own shower stall in here, but sometimes you can pull the showers right out. But you can see the plumbing lines and plumbing and everything down there. That all came out of my camper. And I even got lights, as you can see up here. Okay, that light right there is also out of my camper. Uh, runs off of DC power right there, so I use DC power lights, okay? Uh, composting toilets, now I use a porta potty, which I've showed you before. I use a porta potty, but uh, a composting toilet or a uh, what they call a sawdust toilet works really well. And so now I'll, I'll take you outside and I'll show you what all you can get out of a camper. Okay, this is one of my old uh, campers here, and I still use this one a lot. Then my other old camper, it's back there, and I'll show you both of them here. But the one that I lived in was about the same size as this. It wasn't uh, real big. This is about a 15-footer uh, is all. And uh, I lived in it for two years before I was building my uh, cabin. And these are pretty nice. Now, this is kind of a mess because I haven't been in it all winter long. But you can see here, this has a nice small sink in it. Okay. It's got these cabinets that if you're going to be taking stuff out uh, for your cabin, you can even take the cabinets out. This has nice cabinets. You can see this has a real nice uh, four burner stove in it. This has a fridge that is a three-way fridge that will run off of, uh, it's kind of a dirty fridge right now, but this will run off of uh, AC, DC, or propane, okay? So this, this is a built-in unit. It's not real big, but it's big enough for a couple of people. And you can build a cabinet and just take that right out and put that in your cabin. And uh, these have uh, lots of cabinets and things that you can take out that could be used. You can see all these lights that are up here, all DC and AC lights that you can take out. Uh, you could use those in your cabin. They even have a propane furnace in them. You can see down there. This has a propane furnace. Uh, this would be a vented furnace, so you'd have to, to run a vent pipe. You could take the propane furnace out of a camper to use in your cabin. Uh, this has a uh, RV-style toilet with a holding tank underneath, and you can see it has a shower pan. Shower pan, this would be a nice setup if you was transferring this over to a cabin. You could easily transfer uh, this shower, uh, and look at this little sink. Isn't this a great-looking little RV sink? This would be great for a bathroom and a cabin where you don't have a lot of room to put a regular standard sink. This sink is designed to fit right into the corner. That's a great looking. And then the shower pan runs all the way underneath the toilet, but is, long, is big enough here for a person to stand in and get a decent shower. So all of this could be transferred over to a cabin real easily. Now I'll take you over to my other. Now this older camper, this camper is as old as I am, and it's had some damage. I only paid a few hundred dollars for this. The guy wanted to, to get it off his property because he got a new camper. Uh, and it's it suffered some damage in the fire I had here, but also had some uh, water damage up on top. So I'm only using it for storage, but I'm keeping it. And I'll tell you why, because this thing has some really nice appliances in it. These old campers like this. Here again you can see, well, if I get the trash out of it. It's a mess, folks. It's a mess. This has a single appliance sink, but it's a real cute little sink in there uh, and uh, would work great for a cabin in there. And it just has a DC uh, pressure pump on it with uh, probably just cold water. I don't think it was set up for hot water. And then it has, again, one of these nice little propane stoves. This one's only a three burner stove, but this has a, a real nice little propane stove uh, that would fit right into a cabin. It also has... If I can get this stuff out of the way, show you here. Also has an ice box instead of a fridge. They didn't put uh, propane fridges back when they made these. Instead, they put in an ice box. And it's kind of a mess, I can tell you, but uh, an ice box can be cleaned up, and it just has a drain in the bottom of it, and you drop in a block of ice, and that keeps your, it, because it's well insulated, uh, that keeps your food cold so you don't need a fridge all the time. And so that's what we're in these campers. So... Some other stuff you can get out. Here's tables, okay? Here's cushions and pads that could be used for a bed. All of this stuff can be transferred over, uh, you know, lights and things like that. You can transfer over and uh, get any of this stuff that you can to use for your uh, cabins out of your camper. Then after you've got the, the camper stripped out, these make great little toy haulers or tool haulers or work traders. You can take the whole shell off of it if you want. 
or you can leave the shell on it and just use it for hauling stuff around or take this thing has a really heavy duty you can see it's got a real heavy duty frame underneath it so you can take that off throw a bed on it and you've got a, a, a hauler for your toys or your tools or your RV uh, supplies or whatever and uh, you know you don't, you pick one of these up on Craigslist for a few hundred dollars and uh, you also get the propane supplies and this one's already been stripped down for some stuff uh, the propane tanks can be used on your cabin the propane uh, equipment, the, the uh, connection equipment can all be used. The regulators, the, the uh, propane lines, just make sure the propane lines don't leak. You can reuse all those propane lines and uh, that'll give you a good start. So that'll give you something to live in while you're building your cabin and then you strip it down of everything that can be salvaged for your cabin and uh, you still get to use the, the trailer when it's done for something else for hauling stuff around and so that's a good way to get started that I recommend for people if you need to do it inexpensively is consider getting yourself a camper uh, and it doesn't have to be a real fancy one because you're not going to live in it forever okay check that the appliances work really well check everything out uh, consider how you're going to use those appliances when you're designing your cabin so that it'll fit into your cabin and uh, that way you're saving a whole lot of money on appliances and you'll be able to do it right away. You won't have to wait for appliances and go find them and pay a bunch of money to have them put in. Uh, and you can, and because they're smaller, they'll fit right into your cabins. Okay, that's it for today, folks. It's a wonderful, beautiful day. I'm going to take the dogs for a walk. And uh, we'll see you next week. Everyone have a great day.